everyone. Coach Edmondson here. My name is Joseph Edmondson. I'm the head coach and master instructor here at World Champions Alpha Krav Maga in Gilbert. Today is our Monday motivation. So our Monday motivation video, I want to talk to you about goal setting. And my friend Michael Stinson did a video on goal setting and how it pertains to martial arts and ranks. And I kind of want to piggyback off of that. So I appreciate it, Michael. Thanks for the motivation for me. Um, let's start with what is a goal. So a goal is something that you would like to achieve. Okay, so you set a goal to achieve something, right? How do we set goals? So we have what are called long-term goals and short-term goals. The best way to set a goal is to figure what your long-term goal is. So let's say in the martial arts that it is black belt or I want to be a coach. Maybe someday I want to own my own school or in business it's I want to get a better job or I want to be in you know leadership and management in school. You know, I want to be valedictorian. I want to get my degree, right? So you have long-term goals and then you have short-term goals. So working backwards means I set my long-term goal of black belt. What is it going to take me to achieve my black belt, right? Well, it's going to take achieving my first belt level, my second belt level, my third belt level. So when we look at martial arts as a whole for what we do in Alpha Krav Maga, your level one is your yellow level. Your next belt level, your next rank level is orange, then green, then blue, then purple, then brown, then black. So black belt can take seven to eight years in our system. So on a seven to eight year plan, that is a long-term goal. And your short-term goals are the steps that you will achieve in order, the steps you will take in order to achieve that. So short-term goals are something that can be achieved relatively quickly in a short period of time now for our system your goals right are up to you but in martial arts right your short-term goals or your long-term goals it's already mapped out for you curriculum is already set what you need to know is already there so what do i need to do in order to achieve my next belt level i need to show up for class i need to give maximum effort right I need to learn the material and I need to be fairly proficient at it if you do those things you will move up to your next level right when you move up to your next level now your goal becomes the next stepping stone so you start with your long-term goal and you work backwards right what is it going to take to achieve those things now things can derail you things can deter you from achieving your goal life happens guys life happens we understand that this is why gyms are full at the beginning of the year when new year's resolutions are so high and come march or april crickets they're empty it's only the people that are dedicated who have made this you know part of their structure their life their daily routines right their patterns their routines and are sticking to it but things happen. We understand that things can happen. Um, so what you have to do is plan for those things. You know, in our system, you have to train two to three days a week, 45 minutes to an hour a time. So for two to three hours a week of your time, and there's 20 plus classes a week, you can get in here, right? If you're not in here, you're just making excuses. We know again that things happen, so we plan for those. I missed a class, when am I gonna make it up? So if you know that things can, can deter you, then you have to plan for those roadblocks and what you're gonna do when they happen, right? Now, let's talk about the role that commitment plays. What is making a commitment, right? Saying you're gonna do something and doing it, okay? This is where determination comes in. This is where discipline comes in right having the discipline to do the right thing at the right time even when you don't want to like that's it's tough in life again we know things happen but we can't go to your house and get you and drag you here you've got to do that part and then we'll take care of the rest so having a commitment to your goal sticking to it right that's on you you got to do that we're here to help you we're coaches right we're here to coach you we're here to help you we're really, we're here to motivate you surrounding yourself with like-minded people is the best way to achieve your goals right i can't tell you the things that i've achieved in my life um, that i've been discouraged but i found the motivation somehow to continue and most of the time i found that in the people that i surrounded myself with 
right? The people that were on the same path. You have to have leaders to help you get there and then you have to be surrounded with people that are on the same path as you, right? If you want to achieve great things, right? One of my favorite quotes is you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So you got to start surround yourself with those people that are on the same path, the same journey, and that will hold you accountable to achieving those goals. If you miss a class, make it up, right? But there's nothing like, hey, I missed a class and Kirsten called me on the phone or sent me a text because I didn't make class and she expected to see me there, right? You have, you have accountability partners to help you achieve those goals. So surrounding yourself with like-minded people, finding a goal buddy or an accountability partner is important. Somebody that's going to hold you to achieving those goals. Um, make a plan and stick to it. I want to achieve this goal in this amount of time and here is how I'm going to do it. That's your plan. Put pen to paper, write it down. That's the best way, right, to mentally um, achieve your goal, right, and to get focused for it. And then have it somewhere where it is attainable, right, um, that you can easily get to it, read it, re-motivate yourself when times get tough. Again, we know things in life happen, but this is why most people don't achieve the goals that they set for themselves. And another thing that can cause people to fail is they set their goals too high right? Meaning that they go, oh, I just want this little goal. I don't want to dream big. Well, you know, without a dream, you can't dream big, right? So you've got to know what you want to achieve and how you're going to achieve it. And I say, in my opinion, set the bar as high as you can. Just have a plan on how you're going to get there. You know, I've, uh, I've won a lot of things in my life, right? And I didn't do it because there was nobody in my corner, right? I had support. I had people there to help me. Even today, I've got a great support staff around me from my coaches and people that love me and care about me, friends and family, you know, that are there to help support me. And, you know, sometimes I have bad days and, and I don't want to train. I don't want to do things. And then my coach is on me. My accountability partners are on me. My friends and family are on me. And I get up and I do it. That's just what we do, right? Warriors, we, we make it happen. So in sum, right, I am here to support you. I'm here to help you achieve your goals, right? I just, we have to set what those are. So if you set a goal, right, then try to review your goal quarterly. Where am I at? What have I done to achieve this goal? Where have I dropped the ball? What can I do to make up? So reevaluating, right? And, and then replanning is part of goal setting as well, okay? Because I can't just say I want to achieve my black belt and I have no idea how to get it. I want to be a coach, but I have no idea what the steps of becoming a coach are, right? So set a plan or come and talk to me and I will help you set that plan. Even if it has nothing to do with martial arts, guys. I'm your coach, you're my students, I'm here to help you. So even if it has nothing to do with what we do, come talk to me about it though, right? Maybe I can help a little. Maybe I can offer some insight in how you can do these things. I've helped coach people to get better grades in school, to be leaders in the community, um, to excel at their job, you know, promotions. I've, I've coached people in owning their own business and their, their own companies, and I'm not one of those life coaches that's gonna tell you how to achieve what you want and charge you. I'm just your martial arts coach, but I got a lot of insight, so if you wanna come and, and talk to me, talk to me, and if you wanna achieve those things, right, I know the right people, I have the right friends that are great life coaches and can help get you there, all right? So, Master Edmondson here, World Champions Alpha Krav Maga Gilbert. I hope you enjoyed today's Monday motivation, right, on goal setting, and let's talk next week about smart goals, what those are, and how to set that plan of action, okay? Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.